Welcome to Hangar Talk, a video series of flying tips, comments, and anecdotes that promote airmanship, the artistry of flying with stick and rudder. If you want to become a great flyer, a good stick, there are only two fundamental skills to master. Do not stall and control yaw. Hanger Talk is committed to teaching those fundamentals and to flying for fun, flying with style, and flying safely. Too many pilots have formed the really bad habit of being dependent upon an airplane's instruments. They fly with their head in the cockpit with eyes affixed to the airspeed indicator and the attitude indicator, an artificial horizon. Why use an artificial horizon when the real one is available? A stick and rudder pilot controls the airplane with reference to a sight picture on the natural horizon. The pilot's key to using a sight picture is to know specifically what he or she expects to see, and then detect and interpret any variation from the expectation. A pilot's sight picture is the view of the horizon forward through the windscreen. Specifically, the sight picture is the gap, the distance between the horizon and some physical spot on the airplane as seen by the pilot's eye. The sight picture changes with the attitude of the airplane. In level flight, the pilot might see the top of the cowling below the horizon. Stable flight is achieved when the sight picture, the gap, does not change. The attitude and airspeed will remain unchanged. When departing level flight into climbing flight attitude, the pilot's perspective will see the nose or cowling rise towards or above the horizon. The gap is decreasing. The airplane is pitching up and the airspeed is decreasing. When the airplane moves to a descending flight path, the pilot's perspective places the nose well below the horizon. The gap is greater than the level flight attitude. The airplane is pitching down and the airspeed is increasing. This sight picture shows the airplane is in a climbing turn. The sight picture shows the horizon at an angle across the windscreen. In a proper turn, the bank angle and pitch do not change as the airplane executes the turn. Use the sight picture to recognize the adverse yaw that characterizes an uncoordinated turn. Note how the nose moves up and to the right as the airplane rolls into a turn without proper use of the rudder. In a properly coordinated turn, the nose does not pitch up. The sight picture gap is unchanged, and of course the bank angle remains constant. Learn to use the sight picture. The skillful stick and rudder pilot monitors the aircraft's performance by reference to the sight picture. If the picture is unchanging, the airplane is stable and flying the intended flight path. When the sight gap and or bank are in a constant flux, the pilot is over controlling. The airplane is not stable. Master the sight picture, look out the windscreen, 
know what you are looking at, and learn what to do about it. The really bad habit of being dependent upon an airplane's instruments. They fly with their head in the cockpit, with eyes affixed to the airspeed indicator and the attitude indicator, an artificial horizon. Why use an artificial horizon when the real one is available? A stick and rudder pilot controls the airplane with reference to a sight picture on the natural horizon. The pilot's key to using a sight picture is to know specifically what he or she expects to see and then detect and interpret any variation from the expectation. A pilot's sight picture is the view of the horizon forward through the windscreen. Specifically, the sight picture is the gap, the distance between the horizon and some physical spot on the airplane as seen by the pilot's eye. The sight picture changes with the attitude of the airplane. In level flight, 